With changes imminent to the PGA Tour qualifying process, 2012 saw Ross Fisher fulfill a long-held ambition by earning his US Tour card. He's since split his time between Europe and the States, although it's been anything but the American dream. Went over and spent the first kind of five, six months over there. Didn't go as well as I would have liked, so came back and, and played Europe for a couple of months and then obviously went back to play my 15 events to try and keep my card, which obviously I didn't. So. Uh, decided to um, kind of knock America on the head and come back and concentrate on Europe. I did miss Europe a lot, you know. Um, I thought America was going to suit me a lot more than it actually did. My strength is driving pretty long, pretty straight, whereas, you know, I only found a couple of weeks in America that really suited me, whereas the rest of them, you know, there's not much rough out there and you can hit driver pretty wild at times, whereas you come to Europe and it's a lot more penal. So, uh, you know, I was, Happy that I did it, but um, you know, I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm happy that I came back and, and finished my season off strongly in Europe. In stark contrast to eight missed cuts and one top ten from 15 stateside tournaments, Ross enjoyed his return to Europe with six top tens and a runner-up spot in Perth, leaving him 40th in the race to Dubai. Familiarity was breeding anything but contempt. I wanted to obviously keep my keep my card and try and get into race to Dubai, but starting in May it was always going to be difficult. But to get my card um, quite early on was was good, so that kind of relaxed me. And then just going back to um, familiar places and, and playing well and uh, having a lot of top tens, which helped um, in the right tournaments. And obviously to to not get a win was disappointing, but um, to get race to Dubai um, was a massive achievement. Um, and obviously for me, my world rankings now jumped up to 80th, so I can be, can be pretty pleased with the, uh, the way I finished off this year. That good form continued into the start of the 2014 season too, where we caught up with him ahead of his scheduled winter break and after another change to his routine. I have a new caddy now, having one of our best mates, Chris, in the bag, has been really, really good for the last five weeks. So, uh, you know, things are, things are looking good. We've known each other for years, you know, we've grown up playing golf at Wentworth together, so we've known each other since 94, so almost 20 years. So, uh, yeah, he, uh, he's a good guy, good caddy, knows me very, very well, knows my game better than anyone. And presumably knows just what his new employer is capable of. It's been almost four years since Fisher was at his very best, winning the 2009 Volvo World Match Play Championship and finishing with the lowest cumulative score in all four majors. His last win came in Ireland in 2010, but recent showings suggest he's not far off a return to the winner's circle. Great shot. I've still got drive, still got ambition, still want to get back to where I was. You know, I got to 17th, 18th in the world at one point. Um, you know, led all four majors in 09. At, uh, at one stage, so uh, the drive's still there. You know, I'm still working hard. Still want to get back into the top 50 and try and progress from there. He continues to be tutored by long-standing coaches Dennis Pugh and Mark Rowe, and remains pragmatic about his recent travails, drawing inspiration from another to have experienced a well-publicised rise and fall in fortunes with the game. Golf's a funny game. You know, you have highs and lows. You look at Henrik. You know, he was a world beater, then he drifted off the face of the planet, and now he's come back and he's had a phenomenal year. So uh, it's, um, it can definitely be done, and obviously I've fallen away a little bit, but um, you know, I'm working hard and I'm really keen and eager to, uh, to get back and get back to where I feel I belong, playing in the biggest and the best tournaments, and that's, you know, that's where I want to be, that's where I have been before. I'm not there at the moment, so I need to keep working hard and hopefully we'll get back there.